Welcome to another edition of Sprinkler Knowledge. I'm Dan Kudinovich, and I'm going to start today's video about some feedback that I got on my videos. Number one, I got some feedback that my pitch is too well rehearsed, and then number two, even if that pitch sounds great and it can happen, I still don't even know what your company does. So let's start out with number one. The pitch and the phrase that are, that are concerned with is, hey, marketing, advertising, commerce, care, operations, all under one platform within Sprinkler. Now, that's table stakes, guys. With Sprinkler, it's not about product. It's not about functional requirements. Those are all like part of the process, I guess. But more than anything else, we help drive your business to do more efficient work by leveraging the information across those departments all within one platform. Okay, so when you get to number two, I don't know if that answered it, but what does your company do? Well, we connect social and digital properties. Now, here's a great example. And this is the example I used with this person who gave me this feedback. It's not a pitch, folks. This is the beauty of what engaging with Sprinkler is. It's not about product. It's not about functionality. What it is, it's about better process. To start, here's an example. You guys, as a company, decided to create an advertisement. And you decided to put it on Facebook. And you're putting money behind it regularly to attract new audiences. The goal is to represent your brand really well. Then guess what happens? Ba -ba -ba! The dreaded negative comment. Woo! Yeah, what do you do? So our first question might be, who created the advertisement? Was it your outside advertising agency? Was it your social team? Was it the marketing team? Ooh, these are really good questions. Number two, who's responsible for the negative uh, comment that appears on that advertisement? If the social team created it, is it the social team? But are they empowered to respond to a care scenario? Do they have to forward something to the care organization? If it's an outside agency that is responsible for the negative sentiment on an advertisement, how long does it take them to, number one, find out about it, number two, put a plan together, and number three, when does your brand get to know about it? Okay, if it was the marketing team, do they funnel that over to the care organization as well? So right there, right out the gates, folks, negative comment on an advertisement, who's responsible, and what does that service level agreement look like? How fast is that getting responded to? Again, if it's, you know, advertising agency, then to the social team, then to the care team, sounds like a convoluted process and could take a little while. Most people, when they post on social channels, they want a response pretty darn quickly, within an hour or a couple hours, but definitely not like a week or something like that. Um, so that is, a, like, what do we do? That is a great example of what we do when we connect marketing, social, advertising, commerce, care, when we connect all those business units. Now, the fun one, the last one, uh, not the redheaded stepchild or anything like that, um, the operations team. They are probably responsible for R&D. So if there's a negative comment on your brand because of a product that you guys sell, your R&D team is going to love the insight they get off of this, even if it came off of an advertisement, because what their goal is, is to improve the product set, because it makes the customers happy, and you sell more product that way. Guys, that's not a pitch that I have at the beginning of Sprinkling Knowledge every time. That is actually what we do. That's the heart of what we do, and the reason why we differentiate or are differentiated in the marketplace is because we can actually make that happen, and we do that for the world's biggest brands. The world's biggest brands. That's why I'm excited for what I do and how I can help you. This is Dan Kudinovich, another episode of Sprinkling Knowledge. Give me a buzz sometime.